Hello, I'd like to read you a little bit from my book called Please Don't Pop My Bubble. It is the first book that I've written and I also self-published it. I hope you like it. Please don't pop my bubble. Ben is so excited for the first day of school. He loves summer, but is so happy to see his school friends. He swings through the trees and leaps into his classroom. Ben sees his best friend Nick sitting on the rug. Ben sits next to him and they talk about their favorite sport, baseball. Mrs. Wise is excited to see her class. She starts reading a story. Nick scoots over and is super close to Ben. Ben feels crowded. Ben tries to move over but bumps into James. Hey, stay in your own space, says James. Ben scooches back over and is squished again. He feels icky and his heart begins to beat a little faster. Later that day, Mrs. Wise tells the students to line up for gym. The entire class lines up on the numbered squares on the floor, except Nick. Ben is so excited because he is on his favorite number, 10. Nick scampers over and stands right behind Ben. He stands on the number 11 square and half of Ben's square. Ben feels icky again because Nick is so close. Ben tries to move away from Nick and oops, he falls down. As Ben falls down, he bumps Laura who is in front of him. Hey, watch out, yells Laura. Mrs. Wise asks Ben, Ben, are you okay? What happened? Ben does not want to get his friend Nick in trouble, so he says, yes, I just fell, sorry. Ben stands back up and gets back in line, but feels that icky feeling again. Now it is in his stomach. I hope you've enjoyed the story so far. If you'd like to read more of the story, you can get the book, Please Don't Pop My Bubble on this website and find out what happens with Nick and Ben. Have a good day.